Say that again. I should look in the camera and not at myself the whole time. Now tell me, is that, is that a normal for you? I, what is this microphone you got? <laughs> Are you the imaginary? Oh. Look I at these. Give them a little flex. What? This? Can you stand it? No. You need a license. For that gun, they're teeny. All I do is the Broadway workout because the show is hard for me. I'm not even on stage. Have you seen it yet? I haven't. Oh, someone's prepared. No! I'm don't tell me I'm not prepared! He's leading me up the stairs. We're in this, what's this Broadway house called? The Marquee Theater. I don't even know how you know the name because he's been in so many Broadway <laughs> houses. I bet you just start to forget the names of them. Five. Bringing me up and... <laughs> Five. We have a star today, guys. No. Not a star. Maybe a me... You're a meteor? <laughs> no. Meteorite? I like how when I, they write articles about me or something like on Playboy, you don't have like Tony winner, Michael Servers. I mean, it's always like, Broadway favorite. <laughs> I, I don't have any awards or nominations. Mistake! Mistake! So they say things like Broadway favorite, fan favorite. <laughs> they try to yeah. make you feel good! Yeah. That's nice of them. It is. They nice. could just be like trash of the earth, Max <laughs> von Essen. <laughs> the first thing that he said to Just when he met me, at, met me at the stage door was, You look older in person. What do you, right? How did that make you feel? It, it hurt. I think it's just the mustache and the hair. <laughs> Which is not easy. It is not easy. I think and it I looks think great. And I'm not just trying to shine your apple. I think it looks really nice. Because I couldn't pull it off. I would look bad. I think really? you could want to. Now, are you saying you're single? Yes. Guys, what's the and problem? <laughs> huh? I'm straight. I'm having trouble keeping my hands off him right now. Very why are we busy. both alone? I got too many reasons why I'm alone. Neurotic. <laughs> I'm picking up on the neuroses. How do you know? Um, I'm nervous and excited. I'm, I'm near a star. A meteorite. I'm going to take this from here. It's In case true. anyone lives under a gosh darn rock, he plays a Magaldi. Augustine Magaldi. In Evita on Broadway. In Evita on Broadway. And I go on for Che a lot, too. You know, I cover Ricky Martin. Yes, they're just so different. I mean, it's such a thrill to go on as Che. I bet you enjoy the dramatic challenge there. Yeah, the good. challenge. But when I'm Magaldi, like, that's my role. You know what I mean? And that's our family. On the Broadway show, so you got Jesus Christ Superstar. Uh-huh. You got Magaldi here, and then what are the three of the three others? Mm -hmm. One was the, the original Les Mis. I right. closed that, the original company. As Prouvaire? Jean Prouvaire. Yeah. Studied, studied. Shoot. There's the difference between us, guys. You are interviewing me. Well, no, this is like a conversation. Sorry, I didn't look him up. I, I come into the building today, and I have my research done. I'm ready to go. And I'm like, hey, Max, have you seen me do anything ever? <clears throat> no, and I don't know what you've done. <laughs> There. Yeah, I've got a lot of these. The reason I put up Halloween decorations and stuff in here is because of Ricky's kids, by the way. Mortifying. What? They're terrifying. Yeah. This one. Yes. They all... <laughs> that gives nightmares to me! I know. These things really are scary. When Ricky's kids came up and they're four each, the... I had to like, you know, say, oh my gosh, you ready? Get ready. If you press it, if you squeeze their stomach, it's gonna yell and it's so funny. Oh, you scared me just now. That's not fair. Why do you, why do you protect the kids and not that me? That felt good. As you were talking, I was getting so bored, and I was like, I saw these things behind you. Uh, Dance of the Vampires across the street. How was that? DOTV. Amazing. I mean, horrendous. I saw a picture of your costume very roughly. Oh, that costume was great. The show was a mess, but so fun to do. What mm. a good part. Amazing solo in Act 2. Um, so then I did the re revival of Les Mis 2. Les Mis uh, Revival. Ange Ross. How was that? Have you played that role? No. No, until you're taking money out. You say he's taking bread yeah. out of my mouth, guys. It's it's good, a great role. Fucking <laughs> great. It was a fucking great role. When you feel like you're really doing like a, a just telling a great story, singing beautiful music, like you're proud to walk out on stage. Every sadly, night. you've Project. gotten to do a lot of cool meaty roles. Yeah, I'd when you say look so. at the regional list, you get exhausted just reading it. I fell asleep, not from boredom, but from being overwhelmed. <laughs> I couldn't even like list them right now. Let me start, though. <laughs> because he has so many credits, we're going to do a speed slash picture through of Max's regional credits. Did Tony is, like eight I did, times? Yes, Tony, I did in Europe, and then I did it in Houston. Europe, Houston. And then Pittsburgh, CLO. You did like ten things at Sacramento Music Circus. Yes. Right. Joseph, Joseph twice. Uh-huh. Woo! Jesus. Joseph, Joseph twice. Superstar. Jesus. New Jersey. MC and Cabaret. Yep. Anthony and Sweeney Todd. Anthony and Sweeney. And I toured through with... 